Hey, Plotter Pals. I'm Stacy Anderson, sci-fi author and one of the trainers here at Plotter. Today, we have another exciting new release with some major upgrades for using templates, customizing the timeline, and backup settings. Be sure to let us know your favorite feature in the comments below. And with that, let's dive in. Here we are in the character section for the Three Little Pigs file. Now when we create a character, we have the option to add multiple templates. For example, I can create a new character using Goal, Motivation, and Conflict. When I select Choose, here are the attributes for Goal, Motivation, Conflict, but I can also add an additional template for the Enneagram. And now when I name the character, Father of the Wolf, and save it, you'll see listed my custom attributes, the attributes for the Goal Motivation Conflict template, and then also for the Enneagram. You can also add additional templates to existing characters. So for Mother Pig, I can add a template for Myers-Brigg. And now when I save, that is also included in Mother Pig's character. In the timeline view, we now have the same option to add additional templates to scene cards as well. For example, if we come to pig number three, where he makes his house out of bricks. We have a section for our custom attributes we've created, and we can add a template to make this a proactive scene. We can add an additional template to add attributes for the scene essentials. And now all of them can be easily accessed from the scene card. Here in the Projects tab, we now have the option to start a new book with the template. So here we have our first three books, The Three Little Pigs, The Wolf Strikes Back, and Return of Mother Pig. We can add the fourth book with a template, just like we could do it from the dashboard. So if I choose the hero's journey, then click choose, and we'll rename this book The Hero's Journey. Now in the timeline view, we can see the new updated template for The Hero's Journey. And all of our templates have been fully rebuilt to include more detailed instructions to help you structure a better story. So for the hero's journey, here in the first card for the ordinary world, we can see all the added information, such as the beginning of Act 1 and the breakdown for this scene. We've also created new settings to help you customize how you view the timeline. So if you prefer to use scenes instead of beats, using the settings icon in the toolbar, you can change the default to scenes. And as you can see, it's automatically renumbered all the chapters into scenes. And when we add a new scene, it will auto renumber it as scene 13. We've also created new settings to help you customize how you view the timeline. For example, I can change the text color and make it blue. I can change the font size. I can give it a border, either dashed, solid, or dotted. I can give the border a color. And finally, I can give it a background color. The final feature we're going to look at in this new release is in the settings section of the dashboard. We've broken the settings down to make them easier to view. General and beta are still the same, but under backups, you now have the option to choose the backup location for where you'd like your backups to be stored. You also have the option for what to do with those backups, such as never delete the backups, the number of backups you save, 
or the days you save those backups. So how do you plan to use these new features for your next project? Be sure to leave any questions in the comments below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our latest updates, tutorials, and information.